to do it yourself guys and girls today's projects 86 chevy s10 we're going to be replacing traction bars with Hellwig model 2002 traction springs which sits upon the top of your leaf spring towards the front so you don't get leaf spring bind which applies more pressure to your tires so that you have better traction so bear with me and uh we're gonna get to it the traction bars that i have on there they've been on here for a long time and it's about time to go okay we're gonna get into unboxing obviously i haven't opened them up this is gonna be a first for me and probably a first for many of y'all to see exactly what's going on Be patient with me. I hear they work pretty good, so we're gonna see. Let's see. We got instructions. Looks fairly simple. And we have two of your hill hellweight traction springs. The object is to stop your your leaf springs from bowing up. So these will go on the back next to the rear end. This will go to the front of the leaf spring. And instead of having, when you leave on it, the coil bind comes up. This right here keeps pressure on it and stops everything from flexing and your rear from rotating too much. So we have two of these balls, four U-bolts, four uh, brackets, and the hardware. Now let's get to it. Well, the first thing we're going to do is check for safety. I do have a ramp under there as well as I have jack stands on both sides. So it's always safety first. I put the ramp underneath the, the pumpkin ball just to make sure that uh, we don't have to worry about it falling just in case it slips. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get these traction balls off of here. Still trying to trying to get the rest of this traction ball. It's being a little stubborn. I guess you guys can see that. Cool. Check off. Move over to the outside. I apologize about the video quality. I'm not no expert. This is my first do it yourself. Go. Oh. Yeah, get the other side. This is not enough room. So, we'll go back with it. Let's see. Got enough room to do that? There we go. Okay. That's all. We're not worrying about saving any parts. Not giving it to anybody. Or, I'm not going to reuse it. So, let me go get... The hell with Just give me a second. I'll be right back.
here we go. Oh yes, and I'm and I'm outside. So I don't know if you can see it. it says traction spring improves traction by reducing spring wrap. So when you apply pressure to the gas pedal, your rear end tends to want to twist up. And with it twisting up, your leaf spring wants to bind in this area right here. So with installing these on top of it, just like that, which would be just like this here. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. See it like that. And back there, we're going to clamp it on both of them. And that right there should stop. It puts extra pressure on, 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 on this, this section of the spring and stops this from bending up. It stops all this from wrapping up. Just like they show you right here. See how it does? When, when, when you rear wants to turn up, actually this is the back of it and this is the front of it. Once you turn it, I'm gonna hit the gas on it. The rear end wants to twist forward and that binds your spring up. But when you put these on it, you hit the gas on her and she's supposed to stop the rear end from pivoting up and stop the spring from twisting, which allows you to keep wheel contact and stops wheel hop. So instead of having the traction bars hanging way down, having the traction bars hanging way down here, which I don't think looks too well. I mean, it's the old school look, but this will be for a much cleaner look. So what you do, put that on. Put your clamp on the back. Put your clamp on the back. You're gonna take. Let me move this a little bit so you, so we can, we can see what's going on. You're gonna get your washers, your lock washers, your nuts. Let's say. Two for the front. One ball. Two for the back. One ball. Two flat washers. Two flat washers. And we see two, four, six, eight. Oh, they give you a whole lot of extra washers. So you can double double nut them to make sure it doesn't back off. So we're going to go with the first round. You still there with me? Let's see. Obviously, we need a bar. Go in there. Washer. Not if I can get it on there. Y'all bear with me. This is my first video, and I'll show you a little more of what I'm doing to my S10 a little later on down the line. So, bear with me. Like I said, this is my first do it yourself video. I don't normally do no filming. I was bored today. I need to get this done. So, here I am doing it. Now we're going to get the front started as well. You want to make sure that you have enough room, have enough room under here, so you can see me, for, well make sure we have enough room under here. I mean in between the, the end of this 
and your spring shackles. So nothing hits. So I figure an inch, an inch away should be good. All right, back to putting this back together. I hope you can see me. I'm sure you can. That should be good. That should be, that should be good. Let's uh, let's get this this other one situated. Okay, that's started. We're gonna we're gonna leave it there right now. Okay, now we're gonna find a socket for it. Let's find a socket. Okay, sockets are back here. I believe it should be three quarter. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, I don't know positively, but if we're gonna say three quarter. Uh, there we go, three quarters. Nope. Eleven sixteenth is what we got here. So let's swap out. Put on eleven sixteenth. And uh I'm gonna try. I'm gonna tighten them up. Bottom out. go so far up there but I guess if we bottom this out there shouldn't be no problem with it staying in place after we double nut it tighten it up anymore so we're going to double nut that and call that done there's a three sixteenths a space in it this is pretty stout uh, we're going to tighten this up as much as we can in the back until they touch and that's touched that's, that's 
bottomed up. Okay. You got any more up here? Uh, I'm gonna have to hand do that. What is that? Level six pin. Okay. Now we're gonna put the two more nuts on for insurance. And it's up to you whether you wanna cut cut the bolts down, but that's what we have. Right there. We're gonna double nut it so it don't fall off and probably cut the front ends off. We have a finished product. Let's run these up real quick. Stop from your pinion angle rotating so much on the rear end with the leaf spring. Makes everything stiffer. No, no spring bind. And uh, later on down the line, we'll take it to the track. See if it actually helps. Uh, these, uh, there we go. I didn't want to go on now. Go for it. Definitely won't be taking these back off. This is what we got, fellas. That should stop your leaf spring bind. Stop your the pivot of your rear end, so your pinion angles won't move so much, which should stop your wheel hop and apply traction to your back tires. Okay, on to the driver's side. On to the driver's side. The passenger side is finished. A little, little lube on it. A little penetrating oil on it. Can never hurt anything. If anything, it makes our life easier. Okay. Nine sixteen.
I'm changing these because the traction ball needs to sit like this. Okay? It needs to sit. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sure you can now. But it needs to sit where this rubber bumper is on this spring in order for it to work correctly. But with this set that I have, I cannot get those to do that without doing a bunch of shimming. And I don't want the shims to come out while going down the racetrack and be kind of odd you losing parts going down the racetrack and affect somebody else's safety so being that uh, my tires was blowing off it it would actually sit like this and and when I launch it smacked this which in turn made my tires break loose so on motor or on nitrous I was getting a bind, it was slapping it, giving me a bind in the spring then to make my tires blow off from a dead hook to blowing them off and then back into a hook. So the idea with these hill wig is to have a stiffer spring at all times to maintain full pressure on the rear end at all times. So therefore I had no flex. No flex in the springs. No flex in the spring means more pressure to the back tires. It stays loaded all the time. That's what we're shooting for anyway. There you go. No more slap bars. And there you go. Finished product. It doesn't look so bad now. Huh? Besides having them, uh, those big guys there. There's the S10, just in case you guys might have wanted to see it. But that looks a whole lot better than with the traction bars hanging down. It's supposed to do the same thing, if not better. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one.